Last week was crazy. And so I heeded my own advice from my video from two weeks ago and I took the week off. But we're back at it, so here we go. Let me just paint a picture for you real quick so you can see where we're going here. Here's me sitting here, and then here's a guy, a friend of mine, sitting here next to me. And he's scrolling through his Instagram feed, and then he stops and he shares his phone with me for a moment and shows me the picture and simply and very snarkily says to me, man, I could have done this so much better. And I uncomfortably snickered and nodded my head like, yeah. But what I wanted to say and didn't say, and what he'll hear now over the internet, was really? Well then go do it. Go ahead and, and find that thing or that person and, and make the better photo. I mean, if you wanna spend your days looking at other people's concepts and then just making what you feel are better versions of them, um, okay, that's what you really wanna do with your time. Or can you spin that into some sort of positive thing and, and take that image that you saw and turn it into something that's your own? borrow from it or build on it and you know create a piece that's yours and most importantly is can you grow off that idea without making it a competition because really the only competition that you have is to make a better photo than the last one you just made maybe instead of thinking of it as a competition to win we can think of it as a competition to push the movement forward I've heard a bunch of interviews with members of both the Beatles and the Beach Boys about how they would hear each other's latest work and be awed and grateful and jealous of what the other ones had done. But they would take all that and they would bottle it up and go back in the studio and make another record of their own. And not to outsell what the other guys were doing, but to simply push the sonic boundaries even further. And this went back and forth for years between the two bands in a very friendly way. Being jealous is a natural feeling. It's going to happen. And you can decide how you want to deal with that jealousy. Talking shit is a poor way of dealing with it. And it gets you absolutely nowhere. It's inevitable that you're going to look at other people's work. You can't not be a member of society and not see other people's photographs at this point. And it's inevitable that you will be awed and grateful and jealous of some of that work. It's how you process that feeling of jealousy and how you can convert it into something positive that can really drive you forward as an artist and can help drive the industry forward. That's what's going to set you apart. Thanks for watching. Maybe you'll like it. Maybe you'll subscribe. Maybe you'll leave a comment. All would be great. And I'll see you next week.